Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to look in on my worm chow only bin. And I think it's time to give up on the plastic coverings. The uh, moisture is in fact getting very high up here. It is over 60% humidity and I think we need to uh, stop covering these things. Alright, so this has been my worm chow, worm chow only bin and looking at it, I think it's done. Yeah. This is totally done. I think the nice warm weather has, you know, caused these guys to increase their feeding. And this bin is ready to start migrating. Except for, is that a kiwi or a, banana or a potato peel? We'll put that in the new side. But these worms, um, you know, it's kind of an experiment to see if I just feed them worm chow, will they get a little bigger? And this is my mix of my red wigglers, my blue worms, and my European night crawlers. And uh, to be fair, it's been going on for a while, and I have not noticed that these guys have gotten any bigger. They do appear to be breeding really well, and maybe the reason they're not getting so, they're not getting bigger is that, uh, you know, there's maybe there's too many of them in here. Let me know your thoughts below. Is it because there's too many worms in here that they're not getting any bigger on my worm chow? Maybe I should take some of this and put it in blue. And uh, then when I add the new bedding here in a minute, then, you know, there will be a smaller population and maybe they'll get bigger. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just uh, give these worms to blue. Plus, he's got the surface area to help dry this out quite a bit. So I'll take three big handfuls out. Maybe that'll be enough worms to uh, give them the impression they need to bulk up. So if you grow worms, you know, for size, how many worms do you think should be in the bin if you're trying to get them to bulk up? Again, I think I'm going to take, keep taking out more here. All right, so I've taken out probably more than half of the worms. I would say easily three quarters of the worms I just took them out. So let's get them some new bedding in here and some uh, more food. I know a lot of the professional worm people actually um, use like a manure as a base and that that helps bulk them up. But uh, at this moment, I don't have access to a manure source. So I'm just going to have to keep using my, my prepared bedding and uh, hope that that is, that is good enough. So I just went ahead and incorporated that last little bit of the uh, castings and worms into the larger group here before I go and feed them. I think that... Uh, that should help with the biology and keep the biology of the uh, beneficial bacteria and the uh, other bin critters that are in there. Get them completely throughout so the worms will be able to completely use all of this real estate. So this is my worm chow. This is equal parts um, corn, cornmeal, and wheat flour, ground oatmeal, and most recently I have put in uh, ground bird seed. And uh, now that this is kind of incorporated a little bit, um, I think I will put the bubble wrap back on. I think that now that it is uh, got mostly paper, I think it probably could still use the moisture to, uh, you know, keep it nice and controlled in here. Now, even though this is my worm chow only bin, I am going on vacation soon. And so I think I'm going to give them some, I don't know, like little pockets of food. I'm only going to be gone for a couple of weeks, but I'm going to give them some pockets of food that once they get done with this, they could move over there and maybe nibble on those on the side. Let me know what you think. If you just feed worm chow, um, how do you deal with being gone for a couple of weeks? Do you just uh, let them go through the bedding? Or do you give them some pockets to, uh, to eat on in the event that uh, they've finished everything by the time you get back? Let me know what you think. 
Uh, this is part of my experimental worm bin worm worm bin playlist and I will link that right over there. If you're liking this video give it a muddy thumbs up. Kind of a flowery thumb today don't you think? And if you're not a member of my worm family click that subscribe button and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it ring that bell icon. All right guys thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and my little bugs and everybody have a good day.